Here I'm going to give a quick explanation of the standard unit vectors i hat and j hat. Okay, the hat on top of a vector tells you that the length of the vector or its magnitude is just 1. The vector i hat is the vector 1 comma 0. The vector j hat is the vector 0 comma 1. Okay, I'll plot those on the xy plane. Okay, so you see that the vector i hat it starts at the origin and it just goes one unit in the x direction. The vector j hat starts at the origin and goes one unit in the y direction. Okay, not all books use the hat notation. Sometimes they'll just denote um, this vector 1, 0 with a very, very bold-faced i and the vector 0, 1 with a bold-faced j. Okay, so those just mean the standard unit. Those just refer to the standard unit vectors in the xy plane. Okay, a lot of times you're going to see um, vectors written as combinations of i and j. So, for example, we have the vector 4 times the unit vector i plus 3 times the unit vector j. Let's see what this vector is just by carrying out the multiplication and addition. So that's 4 times the vector 1, 0 plus 3 times the vector 0, 1. So that's the vector 4, 0 plus the vector 0, 3. And finally, we have the, the vector 4, 3. So the vector 4i plus 3j, we just go 4 units in the x direction and 3 units in the y direction. And that takes us to the vector 4i plus 3j. OK, we notice a pattern here. It's no surprise that we had to go four units in the x direction and three units up in the y direction because the coefficient or the scalar that you're multiplying i by is four. The scalar that you're multiplying j by is three. So if in general, if you have a vector a times i plus b times j, it's just going to go a units in the x direction and b units in the y direction. All right, so the vector a times i hat plus b times j hat is simply the vector a comma b.